What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave. Aujourd'hui, un sou like boo. That's coming up next. And this is also fresh. Yo, what is good, Fave fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Favy baby. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, Welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh, and this is my series, Mega Dave's Faves, and I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and let me decent right there in the old bell end. That lets you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. And today, you may be a little confused with me speaking the French in the beginning because we have a French niche in the house. It has an amazing name. You guys may or may not have heard about it. It's catching a little bit of hype in Fragcom, so I wanted to get my prized little nostril piece on it and see what the hype was all about. The fragrance that we got is from Pierre Guillaume and it's called Le Mosque et le Pu 4.1. All right, this fragrance you guys may have heard of in Fragcom. My boy Jesus at Jesus Fragrance was hyping this baby up. He put a screenshot up uh, about a certain female that said uh, she gets very moist, <laughs> if I can use that word, uh, between the waist and the knees, somewhere in that region when she smells this fragrance. So he bought it instantly. He did a review, so definitely check his out. I'll have his link down in the description. Sub to him as well. Uh, he's the one that put the hype behind this. And I'm like, hey, I got to smell this. I want you to see if I can uh, attest to uh, females getting moist down below. <laughs> so such a weird word to say, right? Anyway, we're on a different topic, but I got this fragrance. We're going to talk about it, see if it lives up to the buzz, if it's worth what he says, or if it's just a bunch of flabbergastery that he's speaking. Yeah, I got big words, but let me shut up and get to why you guys all came here and get to the scent breakdown. All right, I got my Le Mosque Le Pu, and of course, my skin. This has seven different musks. It's supposed to replicate scents of skin, so it's going on skin. I have wore this a couple times. Mm. Ooh. Does have a little tinge of alcohol just in the beginning. Very bright, goes away very quickly, and we're left with a very fresh musk. Very fresh, very clean. It's slightly sharp, but just overall just smells clean and fresh. That's exactly what you get from it. Musk up front, unapologetic. There's supposedly seven in here, like I said. I don't know all the different names, Ambroxides and different hoodoo hoodoos and all these. I don't know all that. I just tell you what I can smell. You first pick up the musk, it's very up front in your face. It's clean, like shower fresh, that type of clean. It's definitely giving off a soapy, aldehydic vibe, mm. but very, very nice. If you say that this doesn't smell good, you're lying to yourself. There's very few people that are gonna say they don't like the smell of this. It's just very clean smelling it's just very nice smelling nothing like wowing me like oh man i've never smelled anything like this but it is its own type of fragrance as well all right the mid creamy it's like sweet tonka bean mixed in with a little bit of elong elong so it's just giving off this nice sweet lightly floral vibe and i mean just ever so slightly you're gonna pick up the scent, but it's just gonna be very nice. It's just gonna be very mass pleasing. People that smell it are going to enjoy it. A little bit of sweetness, but not like sugary sweet. It just comes off creamy and sweet and clean with the musk still there. Surprise, it's called Le Musk. Le Musk, however they say it, but just very nicely done. All right, and I kept this spot over here dry because I knew I was gonna be doing the dry down. The dry down to me is very simplistic. Now this isn't an ever changing fragrance. I put it as an opening, a mid and a dry down, but realistically the opening is very quick, very sharp with that musk. It instantly goes down to that creamy vanilla Elong Elong, and then it gets to the mid, the mid wood, sandalwood, slightly creamy, just ever so slightly. And then you get like a cedar, a dry cedar vibe. So it stays woody. And besides the wood to women's noses, especially those musks are going to pull through. I don't pick them up. I do go nose blind to this. So full disclosure, I can't smell this thing past four hours, 
but I asked my wife about it. She can smell this seven, eight hours later. So I don't know if there's any truth to that. It smells good, especially the first hour. You get about arm's length projection. So it's not a beast in the least that rhymed. I do that all the time. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. Anyway, let me shut up with that. But like I said, you get about arm's length. It's not a projection beast and I don't think it's meant to be. This is called musk and skin. It's meant to sit by the skin to draw the people in, to get sexy. And that's what this is all about. These musky fragrances aren't designed to be beasts all the time, where they're gonna be pushing for 74 hours. I don't know any fragrance that does that, but anyway, you know what I mean. So come on in, bring it on in and smell the skin. But that dry, woody note and the musk that women can pick up that we can't perceive is something amazing and there's something to it. I put this thing on with my normal six, my one, two, three, four, five, and then I hit the bam. And I get about, like I said, to my nose, I can smell it for about four hours. To my wife, she said she smelled it eight hours later. So it probably goes beyond that. Now it does sit very, very tight. Like I said, you get that projection, if you want to call it that, for about one hour. Comes on in real tight, sits there, beautiful and still sexy. You get that creamy, vanilla, musky, woody vibe through the rest of the ride. And then the final stage of it is just that wood with the ever so slight amount of sandalwood in there that's creamy. But that's what I get from it. All right, now the who, what, when, where, and all that. This is a anytime, anyone, anywhere, anyhow. I think this is a beautiful unisex fragrance. You're not going to offend a single person. A man can wear it, a woman can wear it, a teen can wear it, a grandmother can wear it, a grandfather, just whoever you like. It really is boundless where you can take this thing and how you can wear this thing. So it is very versatile. Actually, one of the best versatile fragrances that I have seen in a very long time. It doesn't have this loud projection. It's not ever so killing, but the versatility is just mind boggling to me. But we're done with all that. Let's get to the other part that everyone's here for, the fresh score. All right, as everybody knows, my fresh score, you get a max of 35 points, seven categories, and those categories are packaging, sprayer, originality, performance, value, versatility, and compliments. All right, so starting off with packaging, comes in a box like this, looks very cool, sits beautiful, has all their information, I ain't going through all that with it, but this is the original box that it comes in, then you pull that out, you get the coffin, if you will, that slides out of it. Opens up, has his name, Pierre Guillaume. That's how you say it, all right, I'm cultured. This lifts up, it's got a little magnet in here, so it clasps on there, so it's nice, it ain't sliding out. Pulls out, not like me. Then you have the bottle sitting in there, nestled very nicely in there. Nice, good foam, durable. Definitely gonna last a ride from France because that's where it's coming from. Then the bottle itself, this is a 50 ml, just a plain thick glass 50 ml, cheap thin metal top, sticker, boom, sticker on the bottom. So packaging, nothing special, just above average, so I give it a three. All right, one of my favorite things, sprayer. Now this sprayer, as you see, adequate. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It does put a nice quick little medium burst out it's not a jet. It is not one that I would say is amazing, but it definitely is above average. That juice in the air just hit me right in the face with sexy musk and le pie. But the sprayer being just above average, give it a three. All right, now we're gonna get to originality. Now, this does have like a vibe of eccentric molecule 01, like that type of thing, because it's amazing for layering. It's not very powerful and we don't really perceive it, but a lot of people can. It's very fresh, but it also is very sweet. It's just got all this stuff going on. So for originality, definitely above average for me. Something that nothing else is gonna smell like, but it does have some vibes and that's why it's not gonna be pushed to a five. But for originality for me, I give this thing a solid four points. All right, now performance. This can be swayed one way or the other. If I was being realistically truthful with what I can smell, I would give this lower than what it is. But the performance being about seven to eight hours, I definitely would give this a three and a half. I think it's well above average. Some people are gonna get better performance. So this is always subjective to who's wearing it and how you're wearing it and all that. I put five to six sprays. Maybe if I went 10 on this, it'd probably be even better. So that's always gonna be subjective. But for me, three and a half points, very, very fair for the performance that I get. All right, for value, I picked this up for $105. Came from France, 50 mLs. What it does, it does very well. I don't think it's the best value on the market, but I don't think it's the worst either. You get a good amount of juice, it's gonna be 
for the most part, very original. It's gonna be something that you haven't smelled and this has the potential to be a killer. So for value, I also give this three and a half points. All right, one of its best strong suits for me, versatility. This thing can go anywhere and I feel like it could do anything. Office, yep. Dates, yep. Summer, spring, fall, winter, yep, 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 yep. You can put it in all of these environments. Overspray it, underspray it, however you want to. It's not going to offend a single person. And that is an absolute fact. If you spray this, they're not gonna be overwhelmed sometimes. They're not gonna be underwhelmed sometimes. They're just gonna be fantastically pleased with it. Some people are gonna go crazy. Some, not so much. Can't perceive it, can't smell it. So men are gonna be underwhelmed. Women are going to love it. Versatility, a perfect five, especially because one of the strong suits for this thing, I think just like Molecule 01, layer your fragrances with this. Put this with any fragrance. I mean, any leather, citrus, anything. Put it with it, it's going to enhance it. I just know. Put this down on first, this will push up later, adding all these different musks and these different layers, just like Molecule 01, just changes things and makes this an absolute beast. So versatility, amazing. That's the best thing it's got going for it, at least for me. All right, compliments. We can't get out much. We're wearing masks. The people that I have asked though, said they liked it. They weren't wild by it. My wife loved it. She wore it as her own scent of the day as well. She thought it was very nice, very pretty. She didn't give me the bleh. She didn't say that it was nasty, but she also wasn't super shocked by it. But when she says something smells good, I take that as an absolute win. So I say, this is above average. I give it four points. All right, I do my little calculations and I got 26 points. Very good, very solid, especially for what this is. This is an unheard of niche. And I know the house has a couple different things. I've never heard of them before this. So thanks to Jesus Fragrance, kind of opened my eyes and expanded my nostril piece into another house that I think did an absolute banger job. Now, is this that panty dropper? Is this that super sexy moist towelette of a fragrance? I do think that it is. I think a lot of women are going to love this. This isn't going to kill them, ooh, kill them. But I think for the certain person in the right environment, especially if you layer this, imagine layering this with Baccarat Rouge 540, Mwah. it's just going to be a killer. This is fresh, this is clean. This is soapy without being soapy. This is creamy. This is just all those things in one without being overwhelming and overpowering. This isn't going to be a scent where you're just like, oh man, I smelled that thing for 35 hours. You're gonna smell this and say, man, you smell clean, you smell fresh, you smell good, those type of things, but you elevate it when you layer it. So that would be my judgment to you guys, layer it, wear it as you want, put this as a daily driver, put this as your office scent, however you want, wear it out of the gym, wear it out of the shower, it's up to you, it's very, very versatile. No one is going to hate this, you're just gonna smell good. But till I come to you again, that's all I have for the Mosquet Le Pew. Continue to be blessed. Stay fresh. <laughs>